guys, it's Rachel here. It's my second video for today. And I just thought it's my 100 day project and this is where my chomper. Um, I've got millions of envelopes and I wanted to just do this project. I'm going to chop it off. I just want to have the front to use as a pocket. And I had done this um, by myself off camera. Just, I'm just separating it. And um, and I really liked the result. So I wanted to share it with you. And so I am revisiting an idea, which is what my thing is, or doing other people's ideas. I'll keep that. I can create that, make that into a pocket. Um, we'll, do, we'll do two. I'm just going to do a quick little um, 100 day project video because you've also got the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery video today. So um, hopefully this one will upload as well. Maybe I'll do three. Talk about changing your mind every five seconds. I've literally just taken all of the stitchery stuff off um, my table and, and here I am. I didn't cut that. Okay, so it's nice and straight. And I had used one of these, but I had attached it after my video the last time. Um, those trifolds, I had put one, the one of these that I had done um, as the pocket at the back, but I didn't show you, you would have seen it in the photographs at the end because I didn't show it in the video. Okay, and I've got so many envelopes, I thought I might as well do this. So we need to do some collaging and I'm not going to actually... Um, cover exactly to the window. I'm going to actually leave a bit of the white and you'll see why. And I just wanted to see if I could find somewhere here in my pile of mess, I have a folder of, I have a folder of um, painted papers and I'm going to find it because I'm determined. In my basket of goodies, it should be here somewhere. Let's just take them. This is how I get in the mess. I take them all out and chuck them on the floor. Oh, that could be good. Oh, I know where it is. These are good. And okay. So we're just gonna make some pockets. Oh my hands sore from all the stitching. Have a whinge, Rachel. Okay, that's what my that's what my brother would say to me. Have a whinge. <laughs> So I'm going to put that there. There we go. We've made a decision. Oh, my word. I've still got all my embroidery threads. Okay. On the floor you go, threads. I'll tie you off afterwards. This is what happens switching, switching types. All right. Look at my garbage basket left over. Okay. So let's just flip that over and glue stick. All right. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video, so here I am. I will put this on here. I don't want to get my mat. The sun's also... Oh, sorry, guys. The sun is coming around, so I hope it's not bothering you. I really do. I'm leaving a little gap. Um, yeah, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap, so I'm just going to... You'll see why soon. I don't want to use those scissors. They're good scissors. Where are they here? And I can just fold that over if I want to. There we go. Oh, look at the mess. I didn't, that's what I wanted to avoid. Okay. Um, you know what I might do? Excuse me. in the dark. 
because the sun's going to be really annoying. I'll move my light over. Okay, we're in the dark now. It feels like it's night time. Okay, so that's that one. Because otherwise I'm going to get stressed because it is going to come, the sun is going to come around really quickly. And, uh, and then it'll be, you know, shining on what I'm working on. It'll be hazardous. So shall we say hazardous is what it will be. Oh, this is what I would like, some of this. And possibly use up bits and pieces. Not that one, that's got lots of glue on it. Oh, we could have that piece. I wonder if it could go down there. It could. Okay, we'll keep that one out. Here's a good piece that's just tea dyed. Maybe not. Well, we'll keep it out just in case. And what else do we have? Uh, I think I'll use that. This, this is good. Okay. Right. So, no, I'm going to put that one over there. So let's just, I might just trim a bit off now so I don't waste it. And then it will be less, less sticky everywhere. making window pockets uh, reusing and we've re we have removed the bulk too of the envelope by removing the back so this is a nice thinnish I'll say thinnish because it is being collaged on pocket dirty your window and one of just this is the hardest bit these two bits here because that's where the they're the thinnest so I'm sorry, that's really sticky now got a bit of a sore hand so that's I'm just struggling a little bit for a minute and we need to grab some papers of course they're on the bottom the decorative papers here we go I think we might have a bit of this I like this. Oh, here we go. Here's some little bits. Let's see how we go with one of those. Um, so all I need to do is just cut this here. to do the rest. Put this over here. I'm just going to fold that around. Okay. Right, now we might have a little bit of book page. That's all. Oh, wait, what about this? This can go... Oh, I see. That one's the other way round. No, that one's in. Oh, I left it bigger. Oh, ding dong. I couldn't figure out. I don't. I need to leave a gap around. I'm leaving a gap. So I think I might just trim this off. I'm going to have that go there so I don't I don't want to have it covering I need to I want to leave the white there and you'll be thinking why is she doing that
okay and then this one I will put here okay What's next? Let's see. This is just a, a bottom paper that I um, just finished off my paint on and then I went ahead and stamped over it. I'm thinking this would be really nice. This here would be really nice. Excuse me, would you do what you're told on there? So I think I'm just going to grab... Where's my ruler? just going to tear it let's see I might just tear that little bit off there because that I didn't get paint right to the edge okay so I'm going to put this here it just covers up the writing and fold it up there and glue that down So I didn't cover up, I tore off a little bit too much. So I can just put a little bit of something there. Maybe we'll have just a little, no, not that. I might have a little bit of, um, got a bit of a script here. We might just put a tiny strip of that. Like so, and cover that up. And I might have just a little piece of book page up there. And I only need a little thin strip. You probably think it's the weirdest thing leaving this white bit I know okay so that's one then we have this one here and I could even though that's sideways I could just put that there and I might well I'm not going to put it there I'm gonna put it like that but I might just give it a little tear Put it there, yes, okay. Right, and then we need just a little something up there. Um, where are you going? I'm going to do the hours and then I have to meet a person at 4 o'clock. Oh, okay. Can you buy some salad, please? Okay. And mandarins, thank you. Um... 
Okay, I'm going to do another piece of book page, just a little strip. Tiniest strip you ever did see. Oh, and it ripped. It should be all right. We'll just stick it there. I'll just stick that one over there just in case. Right. Now, let's see what other... We might have a piece of book page here. So I need to remember that I'm not going right to my edge there. I need to leave that. So that's just going to make it. And I'm also going to need my Posca pins for this little project. Right, we'll get rid of that. So, I'm also going to take a piece of painterly paper. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's another thing to revisit there. Okay, what about this piece? Yep. So, I'm just going to cut it about there. Oh, let's have a look at this image. That could make very nice journal cards, couldn't it? All right, Sharon, I'm going to keep that one. That's your fault. I'm keeping another piece of paper <laughs> full of papers because that could make nice journal cards. Maybe nice tags. Oh, tags. Yes, I make tags out of those. Okay, so let's put that. Let's slide it up so we can trim it. And I might fold that over. And just trim that off. Okay, so that's that one. So I've done that one and that one. And they're both looking ah, kind of different. That's good. Similar but different. And now here, we've already got book page down our side there. So we need a little bit of a strip. This is Like I keep these bits and pieces because they're useful. Um, so I could... I could use this one here just a little bit. I don't want to go too, no, that's going to go too close down. I could use that bit. It's a bit thick. It's a bit thick because it um, it's double. So I won't use that. Oh, I've got this little piece. That will be perfect. We'll put that there. That little piece. We need all our bits. The moral of the story, we need all the bits. Keep all the bits. The bits are good. Can I slide my bit along? No? Okay, there we go. Now, I did pull out this one. I wonder if I might like... No, I think I need a bit, little pop of colour. I have this piece. So that, will be, that could be good. Maybe I'll turn it around and have it that way and... I'm going to take this little piece off here because I'm going to put something else there, I think. Okay. Oh, we could have used our little fochies as well. They would have been good for this job, putting our little strips down. So that's there. And then we can have, I'm thinking, oh, what about a piece of this? Just makes my life easier. OK, 
Okay, now my point of difference here from the usual ones that we do that I never did this one on, I don't think, on video. I've done it on other over the top, but I had never left the white and I forgot about leaving the white. Um, oh, Sarah's video just went up. Yay, I have to go and add it to the playlist. So I'm going to grab my um, Poscas. Right, and I'm glad I found that folder because I couldn't find it. One, I'm going to go round with, this one I might go round with this colour because it kind of reminds me of that colour. And what I'm going to do here to fill in the white, I'm going to do the little mark making. Really cl quite close together. I really like the look of this. And sort of, even though that's a bit square, just go round in a curvy sort of way. Sorry if my hand's covering it. You'll see. It's just dashes. Try not to go slopey like I did. Okay, I love that. And now we'll do this one. Now, what colour would I like on this one? Uh, my original one I did black. No, that's gold. Cuckoo. Um, oh, I was thinking on this one, I'm going to do hot pink. I'm going to lash out. Splash out, not lash out. Splash out, wrong choice. Oh, my goodness, I love it. Sarah, you would like this, but Sarah doesn't have time to watch videos lately. She's so busy at work. So we had to do a switcheroo with the videos today just because she could try. You know, she's had to work really hard to, to get it out. Okay. Yes, I, I do like the hot pink. Okay, cool. These are certainly things that you can mass make too. I don't think I'll do that one with that colour. That one I might do with this one. Let's see if this works. It should. Oh, yes. Oh, this is, I think this is one of the, the ones I bought in Australia. Not working so well yeah it is and if I say I bought it in Australia you guys know I haven't been there for a long time at Christmas it'll be three years because of you know what I'm hoping to go haven't booked my ticket I also re need to renew Lulu's passport that's why I haven't even bothered I can't that one's not working oh dear um, where's the black one? I know I've got a black one. Oh well, I'm a, I have to keep persevere with this one, I think. Sorry, guys. You certainly want one that works, that's better. Now, you could even color it in and then put. So that's a bit of a mess there, but it doesn't matter. I just want to go over some of these, make them thicker, because that's all thicker there. And I'll do it here. It's a bit of a mess, but it's okay. Okay, right, and then if you want to, you can add a flower, you could add a label, you could add a bird, anything that you like really, you can just 
decorate it up with something. You can put stamps on there, anything. But they are really cute pockets to add to a page. So um, I have some pages, just a minute. In here, I have folded bits and pieces here left over from things. So just say, this was my page. This is some folded printed out bits. Put this on here, not that color. This one, probably go there, no, not that one, this one. Yes, this one's more subdued. Put that on there, and there you go. You've got a window pocket, and then you have a little tag. Do I have any, oh, all my tags are downstairs. Don't have any tags up here. Oh, but you could have something like this. Slide that in your pocket like that. How pretty is that? That's very chunky, that one. Um, but yeah, you can have just really something very pretty slid into that one let's see this slide that in your pocket i'm just pulling out you know pulling out things that i have here put your envelope in your pocket maybe that way and there you go cute pocket on a page so that is my little 100 day project today it was simple um but really fun and give it a go and i hope you enjoy it because I did, and I will definitely make some more. And they're a really quick, easy thing to, to mass make. So have a, a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.